Good morning. I'm Erin Napide, and I'm here with my husband, Bo Napide. We just wanted to thank you so much for getting our kids through such an extraordinary year. Yeah, our kids have really been blessed with some great teachers, and it's just fun to watch them grow. And uh, we appreciate all you do uh, to help our, our, our children, and uh, thank, thanks again for, for, for being there. Hi, I'm Saeed. Uh, myself and the rest of the school board just wanted to wish everyone uh, the best of luck with this upcoming year and say thank you. I think last year, uh, a lot of parents um, really realized how valuable the people at QPS are to this community. Um, you transport our children, you, you, you feed them, uh, keep them safe, obviously you educate them. And um, I think tons of people feel like how my wife and I feel where, where you really love them. Uh, you love our children and uh, want the best for them, um, want them to succeed and be happy. So from the bottom of our hearts, uh, thank you very much for everything you've done and you continue to do for our families. Morning, Dennis Williams, Quincy Teen Reach. I know a lot of you know me by now, but one of the things that I respect you guys in now is, is that remote learning. We did it last year. I commend you guys 125%. Keep doing up the good work because I understand what you go through. The community might not, but you guys are fabulous. I mean, when I say fabulous, I mean, you are fabulous. You need to keep doing what you're doing to better our community. And I see the betterment of our community in our kids. Graduation, everything. Please keep doing what you're doing because you're fabulous. Hi. I just want to uh, thank you all for starting the school year uh, again, uh, being married to a former 36 year Quincy educator myself. This has always been an exciting time in our family. Uh, the weeks before to get the classroom set up and ready uh, has always been fun. Yes, there are some heavy boxes to move from time to time, but when you see the kids uh, faces or hear the stories, uh, in my case, for my spouse, as to how excited the kids were to come into the classroom. Uh, it makes all that extra effort well worthwhile. Um, I want to really point out to the teachers that were here last year, a thank you from the Quincy community for stepping up and for agreeing to perform in-person education throughout all of the last school year. Without your agreement and all the other support staff within the Quincy Public Schools last year, Quincy uh, economy, Quincy community would not be as strong as it is today. Uh, you guys need to be commended uh, for the uh, uh, thought, the extra work, the effort in working through a pandemic like you have. We proved as a large unit school district uh, that the Quincy Public Schools is not a spreader of COVID. We had a very successful uh, school year and it's because of the people in this room. So hats off to you, thank you. Uh, and I hope this year is even better and easier than the last year has been. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lindsay Ertle and I am the QPS Foundation President, uh, fellow parents, um, of kids in the district and just community member and just wanted to say thank you guys so much for everything that you do for our students um, For our community. I know all of the hard hard work this past year um, Will never be uh, enough. Thank yous to you guys So just wanted to send a quick blip and say thank you for everything you do and so looking forward to this next school year Greetings QPS staff. My name is Kent Embry. I'm the executive director of the Quincy Public Schools Foundation even though the foundation has been around for more than 30 years, many of you may not know what the foundation does. Our mission is to acquire and distribute financial and other resources for the enrichment of academic programs and other projects within the QPS district. In fact, since just 2019, the QPS foundation has contributed almost $2.7 million in support to the district to improve and enrich the educational experiences available to our students. As most teachers are aware, taxes alone do not cover the costs involved in supporting their classrooms for current technology or sometimes even curriculum. 
It takes private contributions to raise that bar and provide a level of educational quality that we can be proud of. Some of the most recent and impactful projects that we have helped finance include the Lego We Do STEM kits and curriculum available to all our elementary schools, new screen printing equipment for the QHS Graphic Arts Department, new musical instruments and support of the Joe Bonansinga Summer Music Camp, which lowers the cost of participation for every single student musician, and $105,000 last year for individual student laptops helping make sure that remote instruction was possible during the pandemic. And let's not forget the brand new $1.7 million Flynn Stadium expansion, locker and weight room facility. Finally, the big news. I'm very happy to announce today three of our new exciting projects for this year. First, we will be funding a brand new $25,000 sound system for Flynn Stadium which will provide a huge upgrade in sound quality for announcements and entertainment during the games this year. Second, we'll be providing financial support for a new high definition upgrade to the video sign outside of QHS, the district's flagship building. And finally, to kick off the school year, we are announcing a grant of $120,000 to upgrade the computer labs at senior high facilitating the district's ability to meet new state requirements for computer science. This funding is all in addition to our teaching staff grant programs, which will open on September 1st. Grants are available for classrooms across many fields, include literacy, math, science, foreign language, fine arts, and athletics. The foundation's ability to provide these funds is completely dependent on private donations and many donors are encouraged by our staff who also give to the cause. Here's where you have real strength in numbers. For only $1 per month in our Friends of the Foundation staff giving program, you can help the foundation continue in our mission. Just scan the QR code on your screen or go to qpsfoundation.org. It takes less than a minute to sign up. And we have special free gifts this year for staff who give $10 per month. A free staff ticket to our athletic games, plus a free Dream Big mask. And $20 or more a month adds an awesome custom Dream Big thermal tumbler, plus the free ticket and the free mask. Please scan the code now. We need your participation in this program to benefit the students of the entire district. On behalf of our foundation's board of trustees, we thank you for all your dedication and hard work for our students. Have a great school year. I'm Shelly Arns, Quincy Public Schools board member. And I just wanna say thank you. Merci, gracias, Faristo, domo regato. There's not enough things in the world um, that I can express my gratitude for what you've all done for the 2021 20, school year. Every single person in QPS, you are all my heroes. Um, my only regret is not being able to see firsthand the awesome attempt that you made to make every day special for your students. You are the difference makers. Thank you for making that choice every day. Have a great 21-22 school year. I just want to thank everybody as well. I will tell you, I could have had thousand videos uh, thanking you for what you did last year and uh, and thanking you for everything that you do as our staff. It is greatly appreciated. So go out and have a great 21-22 school year. Hi, I know everybody's uh, excited to start the school year and uh, I'm convinced it's going to be a, a great year, but I do want to take a, a couple moments uh, to remember a lost family member. Uh, April Roan, uh, she was an amazing uh, young lady, uh, mother, uh, great wife, great family member, uh, a great daughter. And uh, we have uh, her husband and uh, her mother work. They're still part of our team and still part of our uh, QPS family. April will be very much missed at the Baldwin family, but really throughout Quincy Public Schools and really throughout our community. So uh, 
I know we're excited to start the school year, but I did want to take a couple moments. Uh, remember April and uh, her service uh, to our district and uh, her positive impact she's made on a lot of different people. Uh, she will be missed. Uh, we're going to do something special at some point. Uh, I still have to talk with mom about what she wants that to do or, or uh, her husband. But uh, uh, I do want to take this year a little bit and remember April and uh, the service that she provided. Thank you.